from the La Casa website committee. And uh, we hi, this is Tom from the La Casa website committee. And uh, we decided to make this brief video because there's a new feature on the uh, website over the past couple of weeks. And what it is is we've opened each article up uh, to comments or, or questions. That is, uh, provides the opportunity for residents to write a comment or ask a question under each article. Um, and you may ask, wh why, why did we want to do this? Well, the purpose of the website is to be a resource to the community, and we just believe it will be a better resource to the community if you can ask questions or make comments under uh, each individual articles. It's very simple to do. Uh, if I go over to the uh, website and jump up to the top, so I'm at the face of the website, and if you go there and you log in, you will see the slider and, and uh, all the articles underneath here. I'm going to, as an example, I'm going to go to the Future of La Casa uh, Planning Committee, and if you click on either the title or the Read More, it'll it'll open up that individual article, and here is the report that uh, Jan Danner wrote, and underneath it. We now have this, uh, leave a reply in a comment box. And if you wanted to leave a comment or ask a question, you simply click inside the box, uh, write out, you write out your, your comment or, or question, and then go down a little further, go down a little further, and you'll see this post comment button. You click that button, and that sends the comment uh, in to, um, well, that's the whole point. It sends the comment in to be considered to be published. Uh, and people have asked us, well, what about negative comments or, or gossip? Or some people may just want to be controversial. And we considered this and talked about it at length. And while we believe that that does happen online and it happens mostly in social media, where there's less controls. We think that most of the people of La Casa have, are intelligent, reasonable people, and that m the vast majority of the remarks that come in will be reasonable, intelligent remarks and, and, and comments. But for the small number that may be uh, negative, we believe that we've placed the proper controls in place to protect the community and the website. And there's really three things that we've done, and they are users must be registered in order to to comment if you remember back over here at the at the website it didn't ask us who we were because it knows who we are see here tom that's because i'm logged in you have to be a registered user so there's no anonymous posting just the fact that there's no anonymous posting we believe will cut down quite a bit of the uh, negative remarks the um, second thing is Comments are moderated, and what that means is once you hit that post button to uh, send it in, it goes into a holding bin for review. Nothing is published automatically. It's reviewed by somebody, a responsible person, particularly, you know, most likely our editor, Paul, who will look at it, and if it's, a, uh, it's uh, not a controversial comment, but a meaningful comment, and then it, it, he can manually approve it. They don't just happen. It has to be manually approved. So to safeguard the website, users must be registered, comments are moderated, and they're held until they're reviewed. And once they're reviewed, they have to be manually approved. So we think that we've protected the uh, community and also provided uh, an opportunity to make a positive uh, change to the website. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. If you have any questions or comments, leave it under this under this post on the website. Thank you very much.